Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this devotion on this Monday. Today, I want to read you something, and I'm going to read it from one of my favorite devotional books, which is called Streams in the Desert by a lady called Mrs. Cowan. It's a very old book, but it's got some real gems in it. Yeah, one of the things that we sometimes struggle with is to know what God wants us to do and how to sort all through all the different issues of our lives and all the things that we have to do. And the man who wrote this devotion uh, that's included here was called A. B. Simpson. He was a very famous preacher and evangelist and very concerned about mission work and missionary outreach. And he wrote this when he was struggling to hear the word of God, the voice of God for his own life. And I'd like to share this with you this morning. He uses the verse from Job. I heard a hushed voice from Job chapter 4 and verse 16. Some years ago, he writes, a friend gave me a book entitled True Peace. It had an old medieval message. And this one, primary thought, that God was waiting in the depths of my being to speak to me if I would only be still enough to hear his voice. I assumed this would not be a difficult thing to do, and so I tried to be still. No sooner had I begun to do so than complete pandemonium seemed to break loose. Suddenly I heard a thousand voices and sounds from without and within, until I could hear nothing except these incredible noises. Some were my own words, my own questions, and even my own prayers, while others were temptations of the enemy and the voices of the world's turmoil. In every direction I turned, I was pushed, pulled, and confronted with indescribable unrest, and overwhelming noises. I seemed compelled to listen to some of them and to respond in some way. But God said, be still, be still, and know that I am God. And then my mind was filled with worries over my responsibilities and plans for tomorrow. And God said again, be still. As I listened and slowly learned to obey, I shut my ears to every other sound. And soon I discovered that once the other voices ceased, or once I ceased to hear them, a gentle whisper began to speak in the depths of my being. And it spoke to me with an inexpressible tenderness, power, and comfort. This gentle whisper, became for me the voice of prayer, wisdom, and service. No longer did I need to work so hard to think, to pray, or trust, because the Holy Spirit's gentle whisper in my heart was God's prayer in the secret places of my soul. It was His answer to all my questions, and His life and strength for my soul and my body. His voice became the essence of all knowledge, prayer and blessings, for it was the living God himself as my life and my all. And this is precisely how our spirit drinks in the life of our risen Lord. And then we are enabled to face life's conflicts and responsibilities like a flower that has absorbed the cool and refreshing drops of dew through the darkness of the night. Yet just as dew never falls on a stormy night, the dew of His grace never covers a restless soul. So as you go into today, as you go into the rest of the days of this week, may God help us to quieten all the other voices in us and to listen just for that gentle whisper of his voice as we pray, as we make decisions, and as we act out our Christian living as witnesses to Jesus. May God be with you as you go.